Okay. So let's talk about fetal development. So people get like super confused when their ultrasound date doesn't match up to their last menstrual period date. So multiple things um, can happen. You could have irregular cycles, so the last menstrual period wouldn't be accurate. Um, meaning like if you ovulate late, if you ovulate randomly, if you ovulate early, all those things um, take place into them not matching up. So last, last menstrual period dating um, in a perfect world is based on a perfect 28 day cycle, day 14 being ovulation and conception. So if that doesn't happen that day, then your last menstrual period date is going to be off. With that being said, the most accurate measurement to get your due date is first trimester crown rump length. Um, that you measure head to butt of the little embryo or fetus, depending on the amount of weeks. But first trimester CRL is the number one most accurate dating measurement. Not last menstrual period, not second trimester measurements, not gestational sac measurements either. And um, if you don't measure that perfectly, that's not gonna match up to the CRL. Um, so, so sometimes, if you see the gestational sac and the CRL, some texts measure both just because th maybe that's what they were taught. But why do that if the CRL alone is the number one most accurate dating measurement? I only do the CRL um, for that reason, being it's the most accurate, um, but whatever. Do what you want. Do whatever the doctor tells you to or the radiologist, whatever, make them happy. Um, let's see what else. So yes, day 14, with back to the last menstrual period thing, day 14 being conception and ovulation. Um, I mean, sometimes the egg and the sperm, you know, they could last a few days. So say you ovulate and the egg's still like hanging out past day 14, and then the sperm meets it a few days later, that's also gonna offset um, the estimated due date by LMP. I just wanna backtrack because I shouldn't have said, like if you don't measure the gestational sac perfectly, um, because what is perfect anyway? Um, and even if you do, measure it perfectly, as I said, sometimes it still won't be exact to CRL. Ultrasound's weird, so um, I just wanted to point that out. Okay, so this is first trimester um, ultrasound. So let's see, this right here, this is the baby, okay, right here. This is the little rump, you see. This right here, this is the yolk sac. It's usually a little more perfect circle, but you know, the angle, I like getting this shot because it looks like the little baby is holding a balloon. One of the texts that when I was training, she always used to try to get this shot, but she would connect it better. This little thing, that's the vital end duct. That'll go away eventually once the umbilical cord is formed. But this is what you could expect to see. This little fetus is actually embryo is about 6.5 weeks. So eight weeks and before it would be an embryo. After eight weeks, it's a fetus. So this one is still in the embryonic stage. This is the little heart flickering. Let's see if we could play that again. Okay, so this is the same embryo, just a different image. Let's see if we can get this closer. So, 
again, yolk sac, and then this is the baby, the embryo, the embryo. So this is the crown. I know this is the crown, which means the head, because of the rhombencephalon. And those of you who saw my last video know how much I love that word. So head, butt, crown, rump. This is the measurement that you would do for a first trimester measurement. So C, R, L, crown, rump, length. And this little babe is measuring six weeks, five days, 0 0.79 centimeters. So that is 7.9 millimeters, which is like literally not even a centimeter. So crumb-like, I like to call this the crumb stage. Okay, but um, here you could also see a better image of the yolk sac, the ventiline duct, which um, again goes away once the umbilical cord forms. This goes away around the same time the placenta forms. It does not take place of the placenta, but it just happens to merge that way of this going away and placenta forming. Um, last fun little fact, the yolk sac, this is actually the secondary yolk sac, is the first thing that you see within the gestational sac. Um, to consider an IUP, which is an intrauterine pregnancy. You see the secondary yolk sac first, then the CRL. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed all my videos and I think I might do this more, I don't know, we'll see.